and welcome. Thanks for joining us. The show has an NL East matchup. It's the New York Mets going up against the Atlanta Braves. Alongside Chris Singleton, I'm John Chambi. And seeing you the big bat in the lineup so far this year, Marcelo Zuna. He, of course, leads their team at home runs. Yeah, Boog, he's been such a force at the plate, and it seems like every time he connects, the ball is traveling out of the ball. But when you have such a threat like that, other guys in the lineup should get good pitches to hit because they're trying to get those outs instead of having to face him in a big situation. Yeah, Boog, he put on a clinic his last time out. Strikeouts just seemed like every other hitter was walking back to the dugout. We'll see if that's the case again in this one. Swing and a miss, and that's strike one. And now one and two. Struck him out looking. Frustrating end to the at-bat for the hitter, and I'm sure that's going to sit on him for a little while. You want to be ready to hit the fastball. Sometimes you can overthink things, and I think that was the case right there. Ground ball up the middle. On the run, throw to first. Two up, two down. Two outs, base is empty. And now it's the polar bear, Pete Alonzo. That's in there, and that is strike one. Now one and one. One and one. Swings and misses. One, ball. one and two. And that's down it away. Really nice slider right there, sweeping across the dish, but just couldn't hang the edge. Riley. Over to first. And that takes care of Alonzo. Ready to go for the last half of the inning. Ozzie Albies up to the plate. The pitch. Ball one, no strikes. Verlander, a former all-star. He features a four-seam fastball, a slider, a curve, and he works in a changeup. When you get ahead in the count, there's no doubt that the success rate goes up, and that's what he's been doing. It's made a big impact for him in recent games. Next offering is foul back. That one pushed foul out of play off to the left. Right-hander kicks, deals. And there's a ball. Spoils the two-strike pitch, and he'll see another. You can see he was trying to stay back long enough to handle the off-speed pitch, but just a little tardy on the fastball. Fouled off again. And it remains three and two. The three two is off the outside edge and that is ball four. What a battle. It's not always easy laying off a three two pitch and I tell you what he earned that walk. Stepping in Michael Harris. Lined and that's a base hit. Throw back in quickly. First and second now with nobody out. Here's Acuna now, having a nice year in terms of power. Right now, he's seventh in the NL in home runs. And that's in there for strike one. First and second here, no outs. And the 0-2. And ball one. Not even close there. Two balls, two strikes. And the righty deals. Cuts and misses. It's a strikeout. I love to see guys compete, and I know he's frustrated that he wasn't able to do anything with that pitch. You see it so well, but you have to respect the upper 90s velocity, and it is hard to catch up to. Here's Austin Riley. He's got it, and there's two away. So first and second with two outs. And now Matt Olson up to hit. Homered last night. Added another hit as well. And fouled off. 
Albies, the lead runner at second. Harris at first, two out of the inning. Pitch misses, one ball, one ball one. That clips a corner. Wow, just a beautiful backdoor slider right there. If you've got any chance of hitting that pitch, you have to wait until the absolutely last millisecond. Just a tough pitch to hit and not an easy one to throw either. Next one misses and the count's full. That one the other way. Lindor. They get the force. Play made. That ends the inning. Back here at the ballpark. New inning getting started. And stepping in for New York, Francisco Lindor. That misses the zone. Ball one. Francisco Lindor, a guy who's won multiple gold gloves and a platinum glove, multiple all-star appearances. Mr. Smile, what do you think of when you contemplate the player Francisco Lindor? Just a special talent, both sides of the ball, both sides of the plate, equally a force. And one thing about Francisco Lindor, you talk about that smile, he's also got some good sense. If I'm a catcher, love it when he comes to the plate because he's got all kinds of different colognes that he wears and sometimes mixes them. Harris after it. Makes the grab after a long run. One up, one down. That's just a really nice catch on the run right there. He saved extra bases for sure. If the pitcher's his friend, he'll give him a second to catch his breath before he's ready to deal the next pitch. The 0-1 is outside, and it's a ball and a strike. And he grounds one to the right side. Albies whips it to first on the run. Awesome play there. Good two-seam action right there, running away from the batter. Rolled over it, got the ground out. Daniel Vogelback, the next to hit, takes ball one. And he flips a breaking ball in there, or a changeup. Either one, <laughs> something off speed. Good arm action on it, whatever it was. Swing and a miss. Two and two. No score here in the second. Gets a piece there, we'll do it again. Next offering is down low. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. I think the key. And welcome back. Bottom of the second. So now to the plate for Atlanta. Marcelo Zuna. Pitch is in there. That's strike one. Yeah, when you get to the big leagues, you think about you know filling up the back of your bubblegum card. This guy needs a couple of them. Oh, this ball is crushed into left field. It's on its way and gone. His 37th homer of the year. And they jump ahead in the second. It's 1-0. When a guy's got a real hard fastball, you can't overswing. All you've got to do is get the bat head to the spot. If you do, he supplies the power, and you'll get to jog around the bases like he did right there. And now it's Travis Darno at the plate. Now one missed. Always exciting to see a leadoff home run in an inning. Kind of gets the offense fired up, and you start to expect a big inning. Next offering is foul back. Kicks and deals. Just a slow ground ball this time. On to first. Yep. That's He's one down. out the bottom of the second. Good late life on that inside fastball. Ran in on the hands and got that weak contact. Little slow grounder to get the out. Vaughn Grissom oh, now in the box. Comes up empty with a swing there. Swing and a miss. As he was out front that time. One down, base is empty. That misses the zone. It's a ball and two strikes. Oh. 
Looked like it was a little bit up. It's a good take. Stays alive. 2-2 two -two on the way. Three balls. Two strikes. And a foul ball. He stays alive. Fly ball down the line, and that'll fall for a base hit. Here's Orlando Arcia. And the first pitch misses for ball one. Swings through that one for strike one. I think he was sitting off speed there. Ground ball left side could be two. Over to McNeil. Over to Alonzo. Double play. One scores in the inning coming on this solo home run. It's now a one nothing ball game. Back after this on the show. All set for the start of the inning at the play. Mark Canna. That's in there. Strike one. Canna hitting seventh in today's lineup. He's usually in the outfield, but today he's starting at third. Next offering is in for a strike. Yeah, to watch your lips. You better be ready. They don't call it the hot corner for nothing. Swings through it for the K. Slider got him for strike three. Here's Tommy Pham. That was a well-executed slider away for the strikeout right there. First two pitches filled up the zone and got him ahead 0-2 in the count. And at that point, you can start expanding the zone as a pitcher. He made him chase and got the quick strikeout. Throw on to Olsen. And a couple of quick outs. Good fade and sinking action of that changeup. Got that hitter to roll over. And first offering is fouled off. Here comes the pitch. Man, this guy's got a great feel for his breaking ball today. Keeps the at bat going with a foul ball. He wanted that fastball high and tight, looking for a strikeout. Just didn't locate it very well. Struck him out swinging. Slider got him. Welcome back. Here is Ozzie Albies up to hit. The pitch. And first offering is fouled off. Albies, multi-time all-star. 26 years old, and he's a native of Curacao. Next pitch inside, and that is ball one. And it is two and one. Just missed. Three and one. Swing and a miss as he chases that one darting out of the zone. Foul ball and it remains a full count. Swings through it and that's a strikeout. Michael Harris now at the plate. One for one. He singled the left his first time through. Just missed. Two balls, no strikes to count. And another ball. That just missed. He walked him on four pitches. Well, he tried to nibble right there and just missed his spot. Hitter didn't offer at it. Now he has somebody to worry about over at first. Runner on the go. That's in for a strike. Throw to second and great jump. When your catcher's not a great thrower, you have to do a better job at controlling the running game. And that's throwing over, that's stepping off, doing whatever you can to try to keep that base dealer's rhythm off. Well, they weren't able to do it right there. They're going to have to make some type of adjustment or guys are going to be running all game. Here's the pitch. Runner goes again. Ball misses. Throw to third, and he's in there easily. 
this game, you're going to take what the other team is giving you. And right there, they were giving him a steal at third base. Didn't check his lead. Catcher doesn't throw very well. So you got to take that back. Get your team that much closer to scoring a run. The pitch. Out of line, out towards center. Coming on is Pham to make the play. Runner tags from third. In there safely. And they lead by two. Sometimes that can be a little tough to score on. It was hit so hard that getting back to the bag, the tag, takes a little bit of time by the time that outfielder catches it. But a really good job of getting that run in from third. And a foul ball. Riley goes six feet, three inches, 240 pounds. And he's a former Silver Slugger recipient in the National League. Out towards right center field. No trouble here. Puts it away for the out. And Strider back to work. Now fly ball to right center. Acuna after it. He's got it. And there's one down. And next for the Mets, Stephen Kwan. And that one wrapped foul. Righty to the plate. Oh, this guy's so comfortable hitting with two strikes even a good pitch early in the at bat if he's not ready to pull the trigger he's not worried if he gets to an 0-2 count and down on strikes he goes two quick outs here in the top of the four here's Pete Alonso grounded out his first time up that one's in there strike one in there at the knees the Mets yet to pick up a hit here. Next pitch is outside. And a count one and two. That's down and in. Next offering is downstairs. And there's ball four. I don't think he really wanted to pitch to him right there anyhow. Lindor oh. takes a ball as he stands in for the second time. Alonso leads off first with two down to the inning. One ball. And a swing and a miss. Rip to short. They take the force out, and that is that. Back at Truist Park, bottom four. And here's the first baseman, Matt Olson. And there's the strike. You know, these Braves did a great job, Boog, of just waiting for the right pitch to come their way. And I'm seeing very patient at-bats out of them. They're doing a good job of working the pitch count. And they've been able to push a couple of runs across to score as well. Just misses the mark outside the zone. It's still relatively early, but with a pair of runs already on the board, the ripple effect of that high pitch count might set them up to do more damage later in this game. The 2-2. Two -two. Left hand batter waits. Gets a piece and stays alive. Three two. Bounced up the middle. Toss to Alonzo. And Olsen is set down. Here's Marcelo Zuna. He's already homered here in this one. And that's in for a strike. Well, he's been incredibly efficient in this one. First pitch strike percentage over 70%. That's well above league average. And that's what's allowed him to pitch well. Dives and he can't hang on. That leaves him without a throw. And they can't get the out. And next for Atlanta, Travis Darno. He's 0 for 1. 0 for 1, he grounded out in his first at bat. On the ground, right side. It's through for a hit. They get it in quickly. So first and second, now one out. Well, the last 10 games or so have been anything but fun at the plate for him. So that one has to feel good. Just a simple ground ball the other way. They've had eyes on him, man. Sometimes that's all you need to do. Just let the ball travel, put the ball in play, and just hope it finds a hole. The 1-0. Runners at first and second with one gone. 
That misses the zone, and it's two and one. Could be some action here on this next pitch. Couple runners on. Probably a challenge pitch coming. Good eye right there. Two on, one out. Right back to the mound. Could be an easy two. Over to McNeil. And their second double play of the day will end the fourth. Back here in Atlanta, we go to the top of the fifth. Jeff McNeil stands in. Late with the swing there. Well, oh, these Mets three. just aren't putting together very many good at-bats in this one. Just one base runner to this point, and it's not exactly early anymore. They have guys in this lineup capable of sparking something, but it just hasn't happened for him yet. Well, he's doing a nice job of keeping the ball out of the air. Lets the defense work behind him with another ground ball. Good execution. And there's two down. Here's Mark Canna. Struck out on just three pitches last time. In there, and it's 0-1. Well, on the mound, very efficient. Able to produce an outcome, it seems like, within the third or fourth pitch of just about every oh, at-bat. Yeah. Strike two. And a pitch. Swings and misses. And good work there as he gets a one. We head to the bottom of the fifth. Now it's the shortstop, Orlando Arcia. And he deals. Ball okay. one there. You know, these Braves okay. doing a good job of putting the ball into play, and that makes things more challenging on the defensive side. The numbers tell us they're averaging more than a hit every inning, and they've only struck out twice, so they keep finding ways to put their bat on the ball. Next offering ball. in the dirt. Ball two. That one fouled off. Two and two. The line of the pitch. Battling here as he fouls it away. Left field. Quan settles underneath it. Makes the grab one away. Just pulled off of it a little bit right there. That front shoulder coming open instead of staying closed. If he does that, he's going to be able to go up the middle no. the other way with some authority instead of a fly out to left. Next pitch misses inside. Two and oh. Kicks and fires. Swing and a miss, and now two and two. He has a tendency to chase out of the zone, and that slider that's down, that's one of his money pitches to get that swing and miss. Two-two now. Fights it off, he'll see another. Righty delivers. Foul ball, another 2-2 upcoming. The pitch. Hi. Sets him down on strikes. Called strike three and a fastball up in the zone. Michael Harris next up for the Braves. This one lifted in the air, left field. Makes the grab on the run. And that will end. And welcome back. Here's the center fielder, Tommy Pham. Going along. Pham, in his ninth season, 35 years old, and he's usually in left field, but today he's patrolling center. Up the middle. Throws to first. Leadoff man retired in the sixth. Parada stands in now and watches strike one. The Mets still looking for their first hit in this one. Well, typically left fielders have the least amount of range in the outfield, so for him to take the responsibility in center field in this one, he's going to really need his corner guys to help him out in the gaps. Next pitch is downstairs. Got him swinging. And his season of strikeouts continues with number 250.
But that kind of velocity and elevated fastball, even if it's still in the strike zone, can be tough for hitters to get on top of. Safe at first, and an infield single keeps the inning going. With two outs, you just want to find a way to keep the line moving for the next guy. So an infield single right there does the job. Nicely done just putting it in play and get down to first to keep this inning alive. You never know what might come next as a result. Throw to second, not in time. He's there easily. In the air, out to center. Harris makes the grab, and that'll end the inning. Back now for the bottom of the sixth, and there's a new pitcher on the mound, Tommy Hunter. Just trying to keep this one close here, and this is where a bullpen can give their guys a chance to fight back into the game. Acuna now at the plate as he swings through strike one. Action in the Mets bullpen. Drew Smith getting loose out there. Swing and a miss. And it's 0-2. Well, he's been aggressive right out of the box. And a smart pitcher is going to play off of that, especially when you get to two strikes. Smash to the left side. Rolls across the diamond. And that's one out as they get the leadoff hitter in the sixth. Austin Riley next up for the Braves. There's a strike. Hunter, a 6-3 righty. 36 years old, a former first-round pick back in 2007. Foul ball there. The 0-2. And the pitch is outside, ball one. Too close for me, partner, to take that 0-2 fastball, but for whatever reasons, he let it go by. He's still in the at-bat. I don't think he'll let the next one go. Tap back to the mound. Fires over to first. Two up, two down. And now it's Matt Olson's turn to hit. Swing, and that's ripped towards right center. Dives, but it's off his glove. Base hit. So two down, now the left fielder, Marcelo Zuna. He's already homered in this game. First pitch, just misses. Hammers that one, deep left field, and forget it. He circles the bases, his second home run of the game, it's 4-0. Now nah, he's just showing off out there, and who can blame him with a swing like that? Give that man a bat and watch it go a long way. The odds are in your favor if you keep that breaking ball down. That time, he got punished for it. Hitter just did a really good job of staying within himself and getting the barrel to the baseball. And now, Travis Dardo. Really good piece of hitting last time going to the opposite field. And he swings and misses oh, at the initial offering. Here's a rip to short, but he's there for the third out. Braves pick up two on the long ball. It's now a 4 nothing ball game. Back here at the ballpark, top of inning number seven. And now the first baseman, Pete Alonzo. That clips the zone. That's strike one. Here's a swing and a drive left field, and he knew it. That'll fire up the dugout. His 42nd home run of the season. It's 4-1. A 
Good hitter gets pitch recognition early. He saw exactly where that was going to be. The challenge, not get over anxious and come out of your swing. He stayed on it and got all of it. Here's Francisco Lindor. First pitch, and that's in for a strike. Oh, he's just got to delete it. You give up that leadoff home run, go back to work, focus on this next batter. Swing and a miss. And that is strike two. Swings and misses, struck him out. Well, that at-bat seemed to be over as soon as it started. Three-pitch strikeout. You've got to be better at the plate right there, at least to foul something. Can't glove it cleanly. Really good swing right there. He got a pitch that he knew he could handle, allowed himself to stay back just a tad bit longer, and he hit the ball on the screws. And it's quickly nothing in two on the designated hitter. Fights that one away, and the count remains 0-2. McNeil stands at first with one out. Going to count one and two. Foul ball left side. He'll see another. Hacks and misses. It's a strikeout. Well, that's always the key to effective pitching is getting ahead in the count. And as a pitcher, it really allows you to start expanding the zone. Guys become defensive, and all of a sudden, for the hitter, that plate starts to get really wide. Well, plays made there, and that retires the side. Mets do get one back, though, on the solo homer. It's now 4-1. You're watching Major League Baseball. Exclude. We're back in a new pitch. here to start the bottom of the seventh. Carlos Carrasco. He last pitched two days ago. The pitch. And first offering is fouled off. A little out front there as he swings through it. Base knock right for you. I'd say a mistake pitch in an 0-2 count. Too good of a pitch to hit right there. You have to expand the zone. Keep that leadoff man off first base. And now here is Orlando Arcia. First pitch doesn't find the zone. Nobody out. Runner at first. Here's the pitch. Run around the goal. Way inside, and that hit him. You know, he'll act like he really wanted to hit, but he's as happy as anyone that he got hit by that pitch just to turn this lineup over back to the top. Albies in the box now. No balls and a strike. Well, in this situation with runners on, you've got to get ahead in the count so that you can dictate the rest of the at-bat. Nice job right there. Swing and a miss. And the count is 0-2. Knowing that the pitcher wants a ground ball double play opportunity here, you've got to lay off pitches down in the zone. Right there, swinging at that pitch, that's a no-no. Swing and a miss, and he is down on strikes for the third straight at bat. Now he can't squeeze it behind the plate. So on the wild pitch, two guys advance. One down, runners at second and third. Back to the mound, might have him hung up here. The throw to first, two away. And here is Ronald Acuna Jr. Bit of strategy here. They issue the intentional walk, and that'll set up a force play at any base. These fans don't like to see that because they showed up to watch him swing the bat, but this team does not want to let him beat him. Riley in the box now. Take strike one. Tough situation right here. So important as a pitcher to get ahead in the count, as he did right there. And it's one and one. You don't want to get beat by a fastball in, and he spits on that one. hit one runs in now a second crosses the plate cut off now a throw home it's off the mark and he scores 
And it's now a six run lead. Just so sound in his mechanics. Hits against a firm front side. And the hands just continue to carry through the middle of the field. Taking over on the mound for the Mets, Drew Smith. And with the big deficit on the scoreboard, he almost has to just put that out of his mind. Every outing matters for relievers and their numbers, but I think it's tough to get up for this type of appearance the same way you would for one in a close game. At the belt and fires. And that one got a piece of him. You know, Boog, you always say how important it is to have a good feel for the game. I, I say after the game, you step into the box, I'll throw some fastballs at you. No, actually, I think we're good, Chris. Ozuna stands in here, leaves that one off the inside. Boog, he never moved because he never had time to. But that kind of velocity, you'd prefer that pitcher work away. Two outs, a couple of base runners at first and second. That one oh. ran inside, almost got him. Straightened him up a little bit. Pitch oh. misses there. Three balls and a strike. And now it's filled up. And here it comes. Swing and a ground ball up the middle. That's a base hit. Here comes Riley. Throw into third. The tag out. That ends the inning, but they do score a run here. So it's four runs for them. Three hits, no errors, and one left. Eighth inning coming up. It's the Braves eight and the Mets. For the top of the eight and stepping in for New York. Tommy Pham. Strider back to work. Found back our way and that's out of play. And the pitch. Right through there for a strike. Strider still out there to pitch the eighth and working with a big lead. He's been excellent, really on his game in this one. And at this point, he wants to finish what he started. The 0-2. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. And one gone. Kevin Parada up now for the Mets. In there for strike one. Is there a debate to be had about shutting him down, maybe to preserve some bullets given the score? Absolutely. When you consider over the course of a long season, guys putting a lot of stress on that elbow, on that shoulder, but you also have to pry the ball out of the hand of a guy like this because he's so competitive. Well, they've had a great plan of attack for him tonight. I mean, finding all the holes in his swing and his approach, just frustrating for him up there. You strike out a guy three times in a game, I think that guy's got to go back and really study some video with his hitting coach, figure out how they're beating him, make this adjustment really quick because word will get around the league in a hurry. That one's in there. Two and two now. Got him swinging. Down in order. Welcome back. Ready? So now a pinch hitter, Sean Murphy. And a pitch. Ball one, no strikes. And that one hammered Marte. Raging back towards the wall. Back some more. And it's off the wall. Murphy into second, and he's got a double. Everything came together for him. A lot of times in today's game, right fielders are able to get to a ball that stays in like that, but he hit that one pretty well. And if he hits it just a little bit different on the barrel, it's out of here easily. But there's nothing wrong with the extra bases right there. One gone to the bottom of the eighth. Orlando Arcia next up for the Braves.
And the first pitch misses for ball one. In this situation, he's trying to get you to pop something up or jam you. That's a really good take, knowing you got an opportunity to drive in a run here. The pitch. And a base hit knocks in a run. Right there, does a great job of staying in the big part of the field. Man, there are a lot of hits there. Ozzy Albies digs in now. Three pitch strikeout last time up. Got to put up more of a fight in this one. Yeah, he swings and misses, and it's nothing in one. Good eye right there. One ball, one strike. The 1-1 one -one is fouled off. The 1-2. One fouled off the plate. They'll do it again. Arcia leads off first with one away. Well struck right field. That's going back. Back some more. It bangs off the wall. In to score from first, it's 10-1. Picks himself up in RBI. He absolutely ripped that ball out front and almost got it out of here, man. Just a really strong balance swing and a fraction of an inch different on the back, and it is probably out of here. <laughs> One down. Michael Harris will hit next. One for three. And first offering is fouled off. One out and a runner at second. This one popped up. That one gets down for a hit. Here's the throw to the plate, but it's offline. He will score. It's 11-1. No, he didn't get much of that one, but it's going to look like a line drive in the box score tomorrow. Takes an inside pitch and just lays it over there to left field and that's all he had to do is get some to the outfield grass to push that run across Adam Adovino getting the call to the mound he has a great slider with tons of movement and here is Ronald Acuna Jr. swings through that one 0 and 1 Late on that fastball. Move to second, and he's back in safely. That one misses. It's a ball and two strikes. Still only one out here in the inning. Cuts and misses. It's a strikeout. To the batter now, Austin Riley. And first offering is fouled off. Two outs and one in scoring position. Here's the pitch. Runner on the move. Got it by him for the K. Staying in the game on defense, Sean Murphy. He takes over behind the plate to do the catching after entering the game as a pinch hitter. That one ripped. That's a base hit. Pete Alonso up now for the Mets. And the first pitch misses for ball one. Well, the leadoff man gets on. You want to minimize the threat by playing sound defense. Hopefully the pitcher can get a ball on the ground and they can roll him up for two. Check swing went around. And the count one and two. Well, he's back out there to pitch the ninth and about to throw his 100th pitch. Man, this is exciting. I hope they let him finish this one. The next offering misses. Three and two now. The 3-2 is off the outside edge, and that is ball four. Well, he 
starting to look a little gap. New pitcher for the Braves, Dylan Lee. And he's done a great job keeping the ball in the park this year. The numbers stack up with some of the best in the game. Hammer down the right side, but foul. And now the lefty got him looking. That's a strikeout. Well, this is no secret. That slider is going to be his go-to pitch. Everyone in the ballpark knows it. It's a massive part of his arsenal, and he'll throw it a lot, and in pretty much any count, any situation, and he's going to look to punch guys. Slings to second. The double play ends it right here. The number 90 is a big number. You're talking 90 wins over the course of a big league season. Extremely impressive. These guys have worked hard all year long, and they're seeing the fruits of their labor. It's not over yet, though. An 11-1 final. For Chris Singleton and our entire crew, I'm John Shambi saying so long.